My name is Joe Ferretti. I, uh, right now I'm picking it against Rayleigh's because I used to work for Rayleigh's for 22 years. I've been retired for eight years and they want to take our medical away from retirees and all the working people. How was your experience with Rayleigh's while you were working? With when I was working with Rayleigh's, the experience was fantastic. The Mr. Tom Rayleigh, who built this company, it was built on a family tradition and family values. Mrs. Joyce Rayleigh Teal, same way, terrific lady to work for. But now that Mr. Mike Teal has got this company, he's the one that wants to break it all down. It's total greed. This company is worth over $1 billion for one family. It's for them to take the medical away, from the working people and the retired people is totally uncalled for. So um, I see that Rayleigh's is still open. Who is running the, the store right now? I'm here to support my uh, fellow union members. I don't actually work for Rayleigh's. I work for another chain, but I'm here to support them because I believe in uh, solidarity and I believe in our contract and I believe that when our rights are being walked on, we should stand up and everybody should stand up because I think that in this world today, too many things have been taken away from us. Um, Rayleigh's is not bargaining in good faith. They never have. They didn't come to the table with a decent offer. They're trying to take things away from workers who've worked 30 years for what they've earned. And they came in and said, we're going to take it away from you. And they didn't even give the membership an option to vote on it. I have been, I've worked for my company for 20 years. I've been involved in one strike. It lasted nine days. Nine days. Um, but my company was a lot faster to come back to the bargaining table once they saw the lockout. And from what I can tell, I mean, for as many people as we have here, we're doing a great job. So the stores that are all union, like if you go to um, the Rona Park, Park one, yeah. they're, they're shut out. So they're not making any money. I am in here for the long haul. I, I truly believe in this, and this is, you know, I, I, this is, this is what I do for a living. This is where my retirement is. If they can take things away from the retirees here, they can take them away from me. And and I haven't put this much time and energy into um, having things taken away. This this store here is a non-union store. Mm. We are here because the meat departments are union. So, and therefore, we strike them all. For the community, I would hope that they would, would uh, help us out in this matter because it's a trickle-down effect. Once this goes for these for the Rayleigh's employees, trickle-down effect to AT&T, so on and so forth, for taking benefits away. How long do you plan to stand on the picket line? I will stand on the picket line until it's over. Until it's over? Yes, sir. My benefits mean a great deal to me. I'm not that young anymore. And I need my benefits. How old are you? I am 60 years old. Just uh, would like to get the support from the community. We're not here to uh, bad, you know, bad mouth anybody. We're just sticking up for our rights. The people do not want a pay raise in any way. We just want our medical benefits. Solidarity forever.